And so I told him why the NBA SWOT analysis turned into a joke. Because when they got to the opportunities quadrant, all they come up with was finding a better job. And I told him, that's not opportunity. That's just a career move. Okay, and that's enough of the, those jokes. Before we end, though, I have one more thing I must accomplish. <clears throat> hey, rookies. Welcome back to uh, Rook Games channel. Is Kikuninga Rook Games the Super Rook Corporation? They were diving into a fascinating topic that touches on both technology and digital freedom. Alright, so for those of you not in this curve for some weird reason, me and the rookies there play some gachas. And so we know about the recent changes made to Snowbreak and what to do to resolve it. So, I made a little bat file to make it easier for myself so I don't have to constantly edit, go into a text file and edit it every single time a new update eventually happens. <clears throat> and Smugly showed it off in the Discord and I made others squirm with the knowledge I ha had. And only planned to release it if I lost some bets that we do in the Discord or until some other tool drops theirs for free on the forum or social media or whatever. But I choose to do so now. Not, absolutely not, because certain hot female cosplayer fan DM me while I sing Sparkle Swimsuit cosplay if I release it to everyone did right now. But because I'm a good person, altruistic and stuff. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Have you ever encountered censorship in your favorite games or applications? Well, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple batch quote, quote unquote, bat file that modifies a localization setting to bypass that censorship. In this video, we'll mostly focus on changing localization equals zero to localization equals one in a file named localization.txt automatically every time we run snow underscore launcher.exe in the most brain dead way. So let's get started. <clears throat> First, let's talk about what we mean by censorship in software. Many applications, especially games, may have different versions for different regions. Sometimes it means that certain content is restricted or altered based on local laws or cultural norms. Uh, it's often done to comply with regulations. It can be frustrating for users who want the full experience. In our case, we'll be modifying a localization file that controls what content is available when we launch snow underscore launcher.dxv by changing the localization value. We can unlock features that may have been censored. <coughs> Before we start creating our batch file, uh, let's show everything set up correctly. So you need a Windows PC. This will work on any Windows operating system. Notepad or any text editor. We'll use this to create our batch file. And access this to the localization.txt file. This file should be located in the same directory as Snow Launcher. Make sure you have the necessary permissions to edit these files. If you're ready, let's move on to creating the batch file. Now, to create a batch file, follow these steps. First, open up a text doc, change it to whatever you want, just make sure you add the bat affix after it. <clears throat> and then, edit it with whatever you please. And then type in essentially this. I'll explain later on what exactly this does. So, you did that, you open the localization.txt file, replace localization equals zero with localization equals one, save the changes, and then set it to launch snow launcher.exe. <clears throat> uh, uh, well, in a bit, have to prepare for my full-time work itis symptoms flaring up so i won't immediately be able to <clears throat> upload the file to the discord but i do intend to do so and i guess what you can do right now is if you're watching it as soon as it releases is just type out what i had to put up here but let's break down what the script does exactly At echo off prevents the command from being displayed in the command prompt. Set local enable delayed expansion allows us to modify variables within the loop. We define the file variable to point to localization.txt and temp file for temporary storage. The, the for slash f loop reads each line of localization.txt 
and it finds localization equals 0, it writes localization equals 1 to the temporary file, and finally it replaces the original file with the updated one and launches snow underscore launcher.exe. Then you save the batch file by clicking on, well, control S, and save as whatever in whatever in wherever, name the file whatever dot bat, make sure to select all files <clears throat> are ones you can access, and it says read only or something like that. Now, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to open up the folder. This is what it looks like when it's censored. Localization equals zero. And if we run it right now, You will notice that compared to what you saw before this date or just before it, there are some changes made that we shall <clears throat> adjust. So by going to the operative of this one and this one, turn it around, you will notice what is the problem here. Once I prove that point, we're going to close that. Now, I'm going to open up the file again. Just show that things has changed after running all that. And then, I'm going to run the bat file. This opens the launcher. And when we click launch here, And then get back in again. This version and up is what I tested it on. So if the version changes or if you're using one that's just before, it may have to maybe some incompatibilities, but most likely there shouldn't be. So you should notice. What is the difference now with Enya and also Katya? Because of the nature of those changes, I will not mention specifically what changed, but I'm sure you have visually confirmed the same thing that I pointed out just now. <clears throat> now, possible errors that you may encounter. Sometimes things don't go as planned. And also just in case you will see here that the localization variable has changed from 0 to 1 without me editing the file directly so what you can essentially do is run the launcher it updates close the launcher run the bat file and then that opens up the launcher and then you can run the game <clears throat> actually though what you could do is you can open the bat file and then that opens the launcher, and then update, close the launcher, and then open the bat file again. So essentially just closing closing one exe. And then you're instead of using the snowbreak.exe launcher to open up the launcher, or snowbreak.exe to open up the launcher, you use your whatever your own bat you set up. Sometimes things don't go as planned though. Here for college how to troubleshoot. Found a found error. If you see a message saying found not found localization.txt, double check the files in the same directory as your batch file and snowlauncher.exe. Permissions issue. If you're unable to modify localization.txt, you might need to run the batch file as an administrator. Right click on launch underscore snow.bat and run, select run as administrator. Or no changes made. Ensure that localization.txt actually contains the line localization equals zero. If it's different, you need to adjust the script accordingly. Now you have a basic batch file, you might want to make enhancements to it further. For example, you could want to create a backup, so then you would follow the instructions to create a backup. And there you have it. You suggest to create a batch file that modifies the localization setting to bypass censorship in your application. Remember, while it's great to have access to the full experience of your software, always consider the legal implications of modifying files and ensure you're complying with any relevant laws. 
So in this case, I believe on Twitter, there's been kind of confirmation of some sort that this is okay. But just so I am okay with making this video. If you found this video helpful, please smash that thumbs up, destroy the subscribe button, and slide on right into the comments. Leave any issues or appreciation you might, might have. For more tech tips and tricks with Kigyo Tech Tips, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you tried this out yourself and what improvements you could see being made. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.